Hey everybody, Dr. Pancake Face here, and in this video I'm going to be going over gauge packages and why you should collect them. And while I do that, you can enjoy this sweet ass footage of me tearing up a mall with my double saw build. Now, whenever I'm playing online, I get asked a couple of different questions, um, and usually they have to do with stuff like, uh, what are gauge packages, what do they do, uh, why are you collecting them, stuff like that. Well, hopefully, in this video, I'll be able to answer any of those questions, and maybe a couple more while I'm at it. Um, now, first off, gauge packages are part of the Gauge Courier Mod DLC for Payday 2. Um, there are going to be packages that are hidden all over the map whenever you play a heist in Payday 2. Uh, now, depending on what difficulty you're on, there's going to be a different number of packages that spawn. Uh, so on normal, there's two packages that spawn. On hard, there are four. On very hard, there's six. On overkill, there's eight. And on deathwish, ten packages will spawn on the map. Now, uh, each level is going to have... Uh, it's actually going to have a lot more possible places for the packages to spawn. Uh, then there will actually be uh, packages that spawn. <laughs> Most often, uh, it's about 20 spawn locations on a map. Um... But I have seen as high as like 34, 35 different spawn locations on a map. Um, but usually those aren't quite as common. Um, now, there are five different kinds of packages that can spawn. There are the Green Mantis, uh, Yellow Bull, Red Spider, Blue Eagle, and Purple Snake. Um, okay, so now that we have covered what they are, uh, how about we go over why you should collect them? Now, there's two different reasons why you should collect them. Uh, one uh, pretty much pertains to anyone, regardless of whether they bought the DLC. Uh, and the other one really only pertains to people who have bought the DLC. Um, so first, we'll do the one that, uh, that, that counts for everyone. Um, now, this reason uh, that you should uh, collect the packages that counts for everybody is bonus experience that you get at the end of the heist. Um, usually, uh, it's, it's, it's usually around like three tenths of a percent of experience, uh, which doesn't really sound like that much, but let's say on Death Wish, you collect 10 packages, that's a 3% bonus experience. Um, and now on something like, uh, like Jewelry Store or you know, Diamond Store or something like that, it doesn't really give that much experience. 3% bonus experience isn't that much. Um, but if you're doing something like Hoxton Breakout or Miami Hotline, which gives a crap ton of experience, um, like, oh gosh, Hoxton Breakout, for me, when I do Hoxton Breakout on Overkill, on Pro, with the Infamy bonus, um, it usually winds up giving me like, uh, 1.6 million, so 3% of that is gonna be a decent amount, um, now, I'm not sure if it's the exact same percentage every single time you play, uh, but the couple of times that I tested it, uh, it came out to be about three tenths of a percent per package. Um, but yeah, like that, it, <laughs> three tenths of a percent doesn't really sound like very much, but when you're trying to grind out 100 levels as quickly as possible, everything helps. Whatever you can get, even if it's the tiniest little bit of experience, it still helps. You know, it just gets you to 100 that much quicker. Um, now, the other reason why you should collect packages, uh, this one really goes out to um, people who have the, the DLC, uh, and it's also sort of an incentive for people to buy the DLC, which it only costs like $3. And if you catch it on sale, when it's like 75% off, it's less than a dollar. So, what, 75 cents? 85 cents? Something like that? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. It's not that bad. Um, so yeah. Uh, essentially, what you get if you paid for the Gauge Courier DLC is uh, whenever you collect a certain number of packages for each type, you will get rewarded uh, gun mods. Um, now, you need to collect uh, 5 green mantises, um, 10 yellow bull, 15 red spider, 20 blue eagle, and 25 purple snake. Um, and each time you collect that many of each one, individually, 
it will give you the, the mods. You don't have to collect that many of all of them at once. <laughs> Just you know, that many individually. Um, some of the packages have a higher percentage chance of spawning and some have a lower percent. Obviously the green mantis has the lowest and the purple snake has the highest. Um, but yeah, so the mods that you get, um, they're pretty cool. They're, they're not too bad. Uh, for the Green Mantis, once you've collected five Green Mantis, you will get um, the AK Slavic Dragon Barrel, the Competitor's Compensator, the Speculator Sight, the Compact Hollow Sight, and the AK Rubber Grip. Um, once you've collected Ten Yellow Bull, you will get the Wide Stock, the Trigonom Sight, the Asepsis Suppressor, the Funnel of Fun Nozzle, and the AK Plastic Grip. Uh, once you've collected 15 Red Spiders, you will get the War Torn Stock, the compact laser module, um, the tactical compensator, the AK wooden grip, uh, the battle proven handguard, and gazelle rail. Um, once you've collected 20 blue eagle, you will get the flash hider, which uh, is one that I actually use quite often, um, along with the compact laser module. Yeah, the flash hider basically just goes on the end of a uh, gun. It's great for dodge builds, great for stealth builds, stuff like that. Way, whatever. Um, but yeah. Once you've collected, uh, what is that? oh yeah, 20 Blue Eagle, you'll get the Flash Hider. Um, you will get the Eagle Scope Mount, the Military Laser Module, the Combat Sight, uh, the Quad Stack Magazine for the AK, and the Solar Sight. Um, and finally, the Purple Snake. Once you've collected 25 of these packages, um, you will get the Lightweight Rail, the Quad Stack Magazine for the Car 4, a Red Dot, which will go on pretty much all the pistols, uh, a Bronco scope mount, um, the competition foregrip, and the King's compensator. Um, but yeah, so to sum it all up, uh, <laughs> pretty much the two reasons to collect packages are they give you bonus experience, which is awesome, and they give you a bunch of mods for your guns, which is also awesome. Um, but you do unfortunately have to buy the DLC uh, to get those mods. Uh, but the experience is free. Don't have to pay for that. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, the DLC at full price is like three dollars. So I mean, come on, three bucks. And if you get the game on sale, which right now it's the Christmas holiday, so it's at seventy-five percent off right now. Uh, <laughs> that's less than a dollar. I mean, come on. What what can you actually buy for a dollar right now? Candy bar? Nope. Drink? Nope. <laughs> No, just about nothing's that cheap anymore. Um, so I mean, come on, shout out the 85 cents. Go ahead and buy it. Trust me, definitely worth it. You don't need to have it. Like, I mean, these the, the mods for these guns, they're not gonna make or break the game. Um, but you know, it can be pretty nice. Like the flash hider, for example. It gives you bonus damage to the gun without actually reducing your concealment. So that's pretty nice for dodge builds. Um, along with the compact laser module. It's the only laser module that doesn't reduce your concealment. Um, and laser modules are pretty nice to have if you're running like a Kimbo pistol dodge build. Um, but I mean, you don't absolutely have to have it. You can still play the game just fine without it. Uh, but I mean, come on, it's less than a dollar when it's on sale. So. <laughs> Go ahead and sell it the money. But, uh, yeah, I think that about does it for everything that I wanted to go over. Um, I covered what they are. Uh, covered both reasons why you should collect them. Uh, yeah, that about does it. Um, if you still have any questions, um, I'm gonna go on ahead and add in the description a link to a webpage on the Steam community, uh, that, that basically covers what I just went over in a tiny bit more detail. Uh, it's got stuff like pictures of the packages, uh, so that you'll know what you're looking for. Um, it's also got stuff like pictures of all the mods so you can see what they look like. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have that link down in the description. Uh, if you want to go on ahead and check it out, um, jump on over there. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. If you want to keep on watching, watch me tear up some guards with my double saw build, go on ahead and do that. Uh, but if you did find this video to be helpful, please go on ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.
Fear overkill. Vlad will eat this up. This will really work for him. Hey, you shop like Russian mistress. Ooh. <laughs> With speed, and you do damage, huh? Good money. <laughs> <laughs>